Ready when you are. Ladies and gentlemen, Solid Mike back with another video. We're on set today, or on location, like the news station. <laughs> Not bad. Occam Athletics about to max out, so we might see some of that footage over this, but I got a question, I got a comment, we got to talk about recovery. I actually saw a lot of BS. First thing, just like this video. Help your boy out, let's get to a thousand. Second thing, I appreciate all the support. Views, comments, subscribers, welcome. I see you, we appreciate it. Third thing, scrolling through Instagram, scrolling through YouTube. There's a lot of BS on recovery out there and I was just waiting to rant on recovery and all the BS. I told you guys I'm trying to curse less and I'm doing good so far. Creams and supplements and saunas and this and that and there's more gimmicks rolling around in the industry. I thought the gimmicks were done in the 1990s and obviously I am incorrect. The supplements, look, you wanna take some creatine monohydrate? Go for it, it might help you a little bit. You wanna take some protein as a supplement because you don't, can't or won't get enough protein intake from food? Go for it. A protein supplement, in my opinion, whey, casein, those are clearly just foods. Uh, maybe a multivitamin if you wanna be real safe. Other than that, let's eat some veggies, let's eat some fruits, let's get our food in, let's track our calories, because if we're not tracking our calories, taking all these pre-workout, post-workout, all this stuff's a waste of time, and that's kinda of where we're getting with this conversation here. So, my man says, hey Mike, how do you deal with recovery? I can't get the training frequency that I need to improve because the recovery process is taking too much. There are times where I have to take off an exercise such as squats because I'm either physically taxed or mentally drained. I usually try to get to sessions of back squat and one session of squat variation as well as one deadlift session and maybe one deadlift variation but a lot of times I have to take off squat sessions because my body is just too fatigued. Same with bench, I try to do three sessions mixed between barbell, dumbbell, secondary muscles. So recovery basically is a balance of how much stimulus we're throwing in, how much fitness we already have that we can recover from, and depending on the phase and block of training, depending on the ultimate goal, we want that stimulus coming in to be just slightly above what we're capable of doing or fitnessing recovering from right now, right? Because then we'll take that stimulus, we'll adapt from it, and then our level will grow. Um, it's not linear, so we can't just constantly add a rep. Coach is here. Can't constantly just add a rep or add weight because it'll accumulate too fast and our body won't be able to keep up. You'll either get injured or just not be able to move the weight, right? I don't know what my man's going through and I don't know what program he's following. I don't know any information about his genetics, his history, how strong he is and the volume he's handling. But a lot of times I think it's going on up here. You guys are looking for a secret pill. You're looking for, you guys just want me to tell you to take an ice bath three times a week and a hot bath three other times a week, plus this supplement and you're gonna be great, but that's not the case. The case is sometimes that um, possibly you're lying to yourself, your body's lying to yourself, your mind's lying to your body about how much weight, how much work you can actually get done. Um, being a little bit sore is normal and part of the process. Just because I'm sore doesn't mean that I can't squat today. My legs are quite sore. I rode my bike over here, 15 minute warm up. My legs are still sore. I'm gonna go front squat. It's absolutely okay. Am I gonna hit a, a earth shattering PR? Maybe not, but I'm gonna be able to get the work in that I need. Um, resting periods may, may have a, a, a something going on here with this, with this guy. Again, there's not enough information for me to say. Um, so within a session, uh, knowing your program, Sleeping enough and nutrition, those are literally all we can handle in our recovery. Those are 98% of what we can do. The rest of it might be some kind of creatine monohydrate, maybe a protein supplement, maybe timing our carbs in before and after our workout to fill up our glycogen and have enough energy to perform that session and our next session help recovery a little bit. Spacing out our protein throughout the day, those are some minor things that might get us to 99%. Um, but otherwise, the, literally everything we have to worry about is what type of program we're following, does it fit my needs as a lifter towards my goals and where I am in terms of experience, how's my nutrition, either eating uh, a slight surplus or even a bigger surplus. The more food, obviously you're gonna feel a little bit better, have more energy and recover a little bit better and how much sleep am I getting? How much consistent sleep am I getting in terms of hours, in terms of time that I go to bed and time that I wake up being consistent. Consistency, just as in the gym, just as in our sleep, just in our eating patterns is all gonna be number one key. Protein intake, like I said, spread out. Also about um, a, a gram per pound of body weight or lean body mass is gonna be number one. But there's no, there's no secret. Uh, and I know you guys are being sold by all your favorite YouTubers, all your favorite Instagrammers, all the popular girls and guys all over the internet are telling you to take this supplement, this pre-workout, this post, this, this, and this. Use this sauna and this uh, pill, but none of that's gonna make a difference. 
And that's the honest to God's truth. And maybe you don't want to hear that from me. And maybe you don't want to believe me. Maybe you guys are in here saying Mike's a hater. And you guys can bash that in the comments all you want. Um, but I'm telling you the truth. I've been through those cycles. Uh, and I don't mean steroid cycles. I mean I've been through those mental cycles from age 18 to 22. Where I was looking for any answer I could in the world. To give me an upper edge. To allow me to squat 400 pounds. It took me a long time. It took a lot of work. But instead I just decided to literally get rid of everything. I take no supplements. I take a little coffee pre-workout. Sometimes I'll have a protein bar here and there if I'm driving or I have to get a snack in. Otherwise, it's just a matter of mind over matter, being consistent as you can, not missing sessions, and following the plan. Uh, in terms of how many sessions a week and not being over recovered, there was another question the guy said, oh, I can only do two a week and then I get too tired. You will be tired, you will be fatigued when you add in new frequency or new volume. You have to give yourself two, three, maybe even four weeks before you can even adapt to the type of frequency or volume. So continue to push through, don't worry about the soreness. Again, focus on the nutrition and sleep so you can get through it safely, warm up properly, um, and don't go from doing zero sets of squats a week to 30 sets of squat a week. You need to slowly, gradually add how many days and the volume you're doing, um, but also give yourself time to adapt because it will take time to go through those uh, cycles. I started weightlifting three times a week. Once I felt really good, I did that for about two months. Now we're weightlifting four to five times a week. Now I'm still a little beat up, a little bit sore, but that's just part of the process. And then as soon as I get through that, I might add a six day or I might add a little bit more volume to each session. And that's just how you progress uh, through all volume and all frequency. Recovery is hard. Lifting is supposed to be hard. You're supposed to be a little bit sore. You're supposed to be a little bit beat up physically and mentally. Not all day, every day, every training cycle, but there will be waves. And when you're motivated, there will be waves. And when you feel awesome and when you feel strong, you can be strong and not feel strong. I feel very weak right now. I feel very tired in my legs, but I know I'm going to be able to hit the weights I want to hit on the front squat today, which is probably, I don't know, 150, 160 for a triple. What you feel isn't exactly what's going on all the time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give this thing a thumbs up. New videos Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. New podcast every Wednesday. I appreciate you guys. I'm Mike. We're out. Ah, what? I said it's comeback season. I'm, I'm tired, tired of being fat, not strong. I'm just trying to get fat and strong. And then get strong. Have fun. Oh, okay. Have fun tonight. It's Friday. Eat trash.